Hi guys, <clears throat> it's me, Rusty, Central Texas, USA, and it is uh, Friday morning. It's about 8.20 a.m., and uh, it's a beautiful day. I mean, and what a difference a day makes. Yesterday it was rainy until about 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning, and today it's beautifully clear, dry, and not a cloud in the sky. Did you get that? Clear, dry, not a cloud in the sky. It's kind of a poem. Anyway, uh, the temperature right now is about 55. It's cool. It's really nice. And I'm fixing to go do my walking after I do my stretches <clears throat> in a little bit. But anyway, I uh, just wanted to check in just to keep a hook in the water. Not much to say. I checked the news again. Not much there. You know, the biggest news was, I guess, or some of the news, is related to this goddamn LGBT bullshit. God almighty. I am so sick of that crap. I, I would never have thought that the queers would have gone as far as they did over the years, but God, now they're a political active committee, action committee or whatever. And now the ligbits, the LGBTs, have got their way with the media. I mean, come on. I mean, even Donald Trump talks about, uh, you know, using the restroom of your choice. I mean, folks, we've come a long way when we don't even know if we're males or females. Wow. Is that progress? God damn fuck. Man, I grew up on a farm in Kennedy, Texas. Graduated from high school in 1963, and I'm sure there were queers all around, but none of them said a word. If it would have stayed that way, the world would be better off. You know, now it's, you know, these people in North Carolina, apparently there's supposedly, according to the news media, there's businesses that are leaving the state, and musical performances that are being canceled because of that quote decision but be that as it may enough about that crap it's a beautiful day as to what's happening on my agenda today I'm probably going to wash clothes i know that's exciting and uh but yeah probably will i got i do have a wa i don't have a dryer i got a washing machine and then i've got one of those things called an umbrella dryer i think i've done a video about it it's basically you just hang your clothes up outside, but they smell so fresh when they've been hung out in the sunlight. So I'll do that today. And then tomorrow I've got a tasting event, and Sunday I've got a tasting event, which, you know, keeps me busy, this and doing the videos, even though this type of video is not a, quote, heavily viewed video. Never will be, because nobody wants to just watch a video of me talking. Okay, it, it, you know, it, I, I don't mind watching it. <laughs> it fascinates me. But I do have a few viewers, uh, not many. I mean, I'm, I'm glad. Thank all of you. Both of, Thank both of you for subscribing. <laughs> anyway, uh, I can't think of a joke. And, uh, but be that as it may, today is Friday, March 22nd, 2016. And the sun feels really good on me here this morning, and I'll go uh, buy some, gro oh, I'm going to get some eye drops, by the way. As you get older, no notice my ears, and I pick my nose. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Anyway, <clears throat> as you get older, one of the things that happen is your, your, your eyes don't produce the fluids to keep your eyes moist, and the older you get, the worse it gets, really. And uh, so I'm going to buy some eye drops. And what I read on the Mayo Clinic about eye drops was, number one, you want to get the ones that do not contain antihistamines because the histamines can cause, actually cause your eyes to dry. Uh, and also to get, there's a question mark as to whether or not, oh, you, you want to get eye drops that do not contain preservatives do not contain preservatives because the preservatives in the eye drops can cause your eyes some problems. Uh, another thing about the eye drops I read was 
you can get some that contain, contain electrolytes that could be good for your eyes, but the science is still out on that. You can read pros and cons on it because some say if, it can, if the eye drops contain electrolytes, then that actually helps rebuild some of your, or regenerate some of your eye cells, maybe. But the science is still out on that. So my recommendation, at least for me, is to get the basically the no tears with no preservatives right now, and that's it. I'm going to try that. And what, you know, the problem, I'm not, it's not a problem I'm having. It's just that every now and then my, my eyes itch. But it's it, the itch because I think they're dry, not because of, a, you know, allergic reaction. So anyway, that's that. Also, I plan to get some new wiper blades for my car, my Prius, because I noticed in that video that I did, whenever the wiper blade came up, it went, <laughs> made a noise. So, so much for that. That wiper blade's got to go. Or both of them. I, I, the car is a little over three years old, and I have never replaced them, so I'll I'll do that. But I did get an inspection sticker, and they didn't observe any problem with them. So, but I'm still going to replace the front too. But anyway, it is a pretty day. I mean, birds are chirping. I don't know where my mocking bird is this morning. He's usually making a lot of noise. He usually, I mean, like last night, I slept with you know no AC, no heat, no nothing. And uh, he's out all night. I guess he's asleep now. But it is a beautiful day. I mean, it really is. But anyway, this is Rusty78609. That's my channel. And uh, it's all lowercase, no spaces. And I do full-time RV. I haven't been in a while. Uh, and it looks like it's going to be a while before I go again. But I do, and I have. I live in an RV right now. Uh, it's a 26-foot J-Flight Jayco. And I'm standing on my patio at my, quote, home base, which I think if you full-time RV, that it's something you really ought to look into. If you have the money to do it or can find a way to do it, do it. Because, you know, you can get owner financing. That, that's not a problem. Uh, not a problem at all. But anyway, enjoy your day. Thumbs up. What else? Carpe diem. And if I can find the off button, I will turn this thing off. But anyway, bye bye, Eagler Fang button.